What's up, my comic comrades? Last week, we brought you Future State, the next Batman issue one. Well, today, we continue our series covering DC's Future State titles with a full breakdown of Future State Dark Detective issue one. The Bruce Wayne Batman title of this line-wide event. That's right, there's currently two Batman in this Future State timeline. Tim Fox, aka the next Batman, then our good old Bruce Wayne Batman, who now has lost all of his money and is on the run from the magistrate. Needless to say, this is the one we've been waiting for because... Bruce Wayne Batman. But before we dive in, we want to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's episode. Dope champions and tough bosses? Check. Years of content, regular updates, and millions of players? Yes, yes, and yes. Raid Shadow Legends puts you right in the middle of an epic struggle that's raged for thousands of years, where you meet more than 12 warring factions and battle noble kings and dark wizards. We've actually had Raid as a regular sponsor for almost two years now, which you could tell by my youthful glow back in this video when we first talked about Raid on Variant. But just like Variant has expanded, changed, and grown since then, Raid Shadow Legends has constantly improved and developed as well, with a steady stream of new updates and content. In fact, last month Raid released its biggest update ever, with the main event being the long awaited Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a ton of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously brutal bosses to take on. If you haven't already downloaded and joined the game, you should do that now and check it out for yourself. Just click our links in the description, or you can use our QR code here. And speaking of taking on those new bosses, you can do so by building and developing your roster of champions, which we've said many times is our favorite aspect of Raid. And after all this time, I still have a soft spot for Dark Elves. I like mischievous elves. What do you want me to tell you? Anyway, with the addition of the Doom Tower and the rest of the recent update, there's never been a better time to start playing Raid. It's completely free to play, and you can download the game both on your PC and mobile. And here's the best part. The Raid team is also giving away a bunch of free in-game items and the Rare Void Champion Bulwark to help you get started in the tower. So if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, just click the link in the description or use the QR code on screen to download now. And if you're a new player, you'll get a free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard all for free as as soon as you get in game. Remember, only new players will get bonuses through our link. And once you're up and running, you'll find all these rewards waiting for you to claim in your inbox right here for the next 30 days. So click our link and we'll see you there. With that said, let's find out what's going on with Future State Bruce Wayne with issue one of Dark Detective. The comic starts off giving us a shot of gloomy, rainy Gotham. We then see Bruce staring at Gotham Cemetery through a fence with a caption saying, Bruce Wayne, son of Gotham, was shot and killed last month in an alley. The comic then takes us to this moment with a panel saying, then. We then see one of the peacekeepers say, Bruce Wayne, we know who you are. This panel also shows us that this peacekeeper just shot Bruce as he's running away. But not only that, it flat out says they know who Bruce is, meaning they know he's Batman. Now I'm gonna pause for a second before I go any further to explain to you guys who the peacekeepers are. Essentially, they're part of the Magistrate, a private security force that patrols Gotham with shoot on sight orders for anybody wearing a mask. Meaning Bruce Wayne, AKA Batman, is their number one target. Anyway, the comic book then brings us to the current time where Bruce starts walking away from the cemetery with his internal monologue saying, being a masked hero is one thing, being dead is another, dead and broke. Which explains why he's looking at the cemetery, because even though he's not dead, the world thinks he's dead, and we'll find out why in just a second. We then see Bruce walk into a diner saying he has just enough credits for coffee, and as he sits down, he sees a 3D news article pop up saying, the magistrate continues investigation into Batman's death. Okay, pause again, this future Gotham looks like something straight out of the fifth element and super cyberpunk, which I have no complaints about, I just felt the need to comment on it. Anyway, as Bruce looks at this 3D article, the woman sitting next to him says, you have Batman, right? Then two days later, it's Bruce Wayne. Hello, celebrities die in threes, right? Bruce says, haven't heard. She then tells him, yeah, I think it's because of like Earth energies. I heard maybe Bruce Wayne like offed himself because he lost all of his money. Or maybe it could be drugs, right? Although someone like Mr. Fancy Butt Bruce Wayne should be able to at least get some good drugs in Gotham. Bruce then starts thinking to himself, it's true. If you have money, there's very little you can't get in Gotham. The comic then takes us back to then, right after Bruce got shot by the peacekeeper. And we see him bleeding out, knocking on a door saying, open up. Up, I could pay. And a voice from inside says, if I open up and you don't have the money, you're a corpse. And Bruce, while falling on the ground says, while bleeding out, I can pay. So the guy opens up, takes the money and says, take a seat and try not to die while I prep. The man then starts sewing Bruce up as Bruce thinks to himself, the last of the Wayne Enterprise's fortune. It bought me anonymity and just enough morphine to keep me from losing my mind while Gotham's best butcher sews up the holes in my guts. Then the day after this, we see Peacekeeper One, the peacekeeper that shot Bruce, make an announcement to the media. He says, when the city of Gotham first partnered with the magistrate, I made you a promise. And I stand before you today as a man who keeps his promises. This morning at 0100 hours, Gotham most ruthless insurgent, the Bat 
Batman was killed. While his death is a victory for justice in Gotham, our work is far from over. Every day our adversaries are apprehended. Many are already being detained in magistrate facilities. With hard work, the mayor and I have every confidence this war will be won. And Peacekeeper One is saying this to the media as Bruce says to himself, and at that moment, Peacekeeper One made his death official. Remember how I said a minute ago we'd find out why the world thinks Bruce and Batman is dead? Well, this is why. Back in present time, Bruce is wandering the Times Square equivalent of Gotham saying to himself, how does that line go? Die a hero and stick around long enough to be vigilante number one? Die both a vigilante and complicated rich but cherished public figure whose obituary towers over the city like some sort of glowing shrine. Bruce continues to say to himself, your stupid face looking down at you from a skyline of a city that no longer makes sense to you. A city whose cutting edge technological advances have come at a price. The magistrate's price. Control. The new order. As Bruce starts running off into an alley, pissed off and frustrated. But wouldn't you know at once in the alley, Bruce hears a man being held up. So Bruce says to himself, what now, dead man? But once Batman, always Batman. So Bruce goes over to the thugs saying, let him go. Bruce then starts thinking to himself as he beats the crap out of the thugs, so I fight my way out of the grave. Fight the forces that put me there. Shut down the magistrate before they destroy Gotham for good. But mid-fight, a magistrate drone shows up saying, stop all movement. So Bruce starts running away from the drone as he starts answering himself from earlier saying, but how do I save Gotham from the magistrate? and as what. He then starts asking himself more questions saying, but as what, the ghost you once were, as he rips off his clothes and puts on his cowl, as the drone is shooting at him saying, by order of the magistrate. The drone then shoots Bruce in the leg, but he uses a grappling hook to get to the top of a building. But at this point, more drones show up saying, there is no escape, stop all movement. So Bruce jumps off the building, and I just gotta say that this new bat suit is awesome. I'm digging the short sleeves with the gauntlets, it's almost like a SWAT version of Batman. Anyway, Batman then uses his grappling hook again to catch himself, but he just slams into the side of the building so hard it causes them to let go and fall on top of a dumpster. Elsewhere, we see Peacekeeper One looking at all this footage on monitors at some sort of home base. We are then taken back to Bruce where he tells himself, Batman is dead. Bruce Wayne is dead. There is no one left to stand over their graves. Nothing left of them but mistakes, and the city those mistakes helped build. Wayne Enterprises, Batman, my technology, my justice, it's what helped build the Magistrate, which means I know how to break it down. Whatever I am now, I've got nothing left but time to fix this mess. Funeral's over, as we see Bruce leaning against the wall, injured, as the comic ends. And just like that, my friends, we have Dark Detective issue one. I gotta say, I find it very interesting having Bruce Wayne Batman on the run, but even more interesting that he no longer has money and he's like a super ground level broke Batman only having enough money to buy a single coffee. For those of you wondering how he lost his fortune, well that happened during James Tynan's Joker War storyline, which we covered in its entirety and you can find links for right here. I'm also digging this new bat suit. Like I said earlier, I like how simplistic and tactical it is. It kind of reminds me of Greg Capullo's Zero Year bat suit. Like I said in our next Batman video, I just really want to see Bruce Wayne encounter Tim Fox Batman. I think that would be super fun to see how their interaction goes down. Another interesting thing is that to the world, Bruce Wayne and Batman are dead, even though you have Tim Fox Batman running around and how would the world know it's a different Batman? And since no one knows Batman's true identity, wouldn't they just assume it's the normal Batman in a different bat suit since he changes his bat suits like all the time? I'm just asking the hard questions here. Nonetheless, I'm curious to see how that element plays out, but what are you guys thinking of how DC is handling Bruce Wayne currently? Let us know in the comment section down below. First up for the week of the 20th, we have Future State, the next Batman issue too. This new Batman is on the trail of a murderous couple, but quickly finds out it's not all it seems to be. And he finds himself in the firing line of the Magistrate and their peacekeepers. Next, we have Maestro War and Pax issue one. The man once known as the Hulk is now neither man nor Hulk. Call him the Maestro. After disposing of Dystopia's ancient ruler, the Maestro sets his sights even bigger. It's time the entire planet of Earth recognize their one true god. Here we have Power Rangers issue three. The unlimited power era continues as Draken is the key to the Power Rangers new mission. But to defeat the new cosmic threat, the new Power Rangers team, Jason, Trini, Zack, and new members have put their faith in their greatest enemy. Now we have Batman Catwoman issue two. Phantasm has come to Gotham City. Andrea Beaumont, the one-time love of Bruce Wayne, is looking for her lost child, and she's pretty sure the Joker is involved. So who better to have as an ally than Batman? And finally, we have King in Black issue three. If this cover is any indication, this issue will have the God of Thunder fight the Lord of the Abyss, and I cannot wait to see it. And just like that, my comic comrades, that brings today's episode of Variant to a close, but if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to check out this one right here, and if you like all of our content, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It always helps us out, but I will see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.